hey guys so uh, in our last video I was able to put in some uh, studs at a different level top plates and I quickly put in a, a roof an architectural roof here but I did not put the roof rafters or the ceiling joists so I have to do that I need to take care of that uh, so let's do that for this video so first things first I want to correct uh, this uh, gable roof, the elevation of it, because uh, right now I want to use a 2x12 uh, rafters. Uh, Google with 2x10s, but sometimes the architects they like to go with a deeper rafter for in, uh, installation purposes. They want a more energy efficient house, so they might go with a deeper uh, rafter. So 2x12s will go, will be great. And if you have 2x12 rafters, you, uh, you will, will prefer to have a ridge that is deeper than a 2x12. I don't think they make 2x14s, so I'm going I'm to put in an LVO for the ridge, the ridge board. So let's do that. So first, let's go to, I don't know, maybe it's north elevation. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, and let's see. Maybe it's not the best one here. Maybe let me just, let me hide this. Let's hide this guy for now. So uh, well, the way you hide it is that you click on it, uh, right click, hide view, hide elements. I'm going to get it back later, but I, I want to know this, uh, as you can see, I, I see this uh, plate right here. So let's go to annotate, let's go where it says detail line, and we're going to create a line. The line's gonna be 11.25 inches. Hit enter. So I want this roof to align with this line right here. Uh, let's make another line. Boom. This line is that much. So I'm gonna control copy. I'm going to go click on the roof. It says base offset. I'm just going to straight up put negative and then just control V and apply. And that should go. Yep. Perfect. And let's see if it works. I mean, hopefully it works. I want it to work. Because it's going to be a, birth, a bird's mouth here. And I'm guessing the... Maybe not, maybe not. Let me see if I'm doing this right. Let me see, let me see. Let's see if we go perpendicular here. Let's make that 11.25 inches. Uh, I don't know, let's make this two feet right there as perpendicular. So I would have made a big mistake here. That's okay. I was able to see that the way I was doing it was incorrect. So click here. Click there. I want to raise it up actually. I think I brought it down too much. So click on this roof. Uh, I'm going to move it. With respect to here. I'm going to go from here. Uh, I think we should go here. Yeah. I think that's right. Because our joist is going to be like around here. I want, the, I want it to be here. The bottom face of the rafters to be there not the joys I said that incorrectly the Raptors so I think that's good it's gonna make sure you that uh, you do that correctly all right so I did hit uh, this plate here so let's unhide that we'll go back here to, and we'll see what, what we're talking about we'll go back to this elevation view but let's unhide this guy uh, reveal hidden items. I want to reveal it and I can't. I don't know why it looks like this. On high element. Boom. Okay, that's all set. So now let's go to our 3D model. Our 3D view. And let's see if we could create some raptors. Actually, this. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's go to our top view. Uh, 
uh, structure, go to structure, go to beam. Once you're in beam, we have a two, two by 12, but I want to make a, a ridge. So let's go to edit type. Let's duplicate. Let's call this one, three quarters by 14 inch. LVL. Hit OK. Let's make the adjustments here. That's good. It's supposed to be 14 inches. Hit OK. Uh, you don't have to have this. I could have it like that. That's fine. Uh, I want 3D snapping. I go here. I click on it, and it should. Uh, I didn't do this right. Click on quick lines. There you go. So I should have my ridge right there. You can see it. Boom. Let's zoom in. I have my ridge right there. Cool. Now that I have that, let's see if I could put my rafters in the correct location. I don't know if I could do this in the attic view. I'm not really sure. But let's go where it says attic framing plan. I can't see my ridge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to properties and view range. Where it says view range, you're gonna click on edit. And then where it says top, let's make that a hundred feet for now. Hit apply. Hit okay. And I'm not seeing what I wanna see. So let's do that one more time. Edit range. Let's make a cut plan. Cut plan, I don't know, 100 feet, two. There you go. Hit OK. Now I could see my structural ridge. So, next thing I want to do is I want to go to the beam. I want to click on the 2x12s. 2x12. And then I'm able to pick a certain point here could I click on that let's click on this guy and then we have that we have our first uh, rafter here so let's see how that looks in a 3d view I don't know where it is oops over here so that is the rafter pretty cool so let's go back to the attic framing plan and uh let's just uh, let's just offset this not copy offset and that's okay so let's start offsetting this guy just continue to offset Okay, so I have this side all set, uh, but I also want the right side. So let's see. I don't know if I can, but let's see if I could uh, mirror. Uh, huh. Let's see if I could mirror the rafters now. But I don't. I highlighted this, the ridge. I don't want to highlight that. So I'm gonna hit down. I'm gonna press down the shift. I removes that and I don't want I highlighted some of the studs too I don't want that so go where the filter is and then where it says structural columns click that and hit OK so right now because we have the structural framing checked it's only going to select the rafters now I want to mirror this guy mirror the rafters and let's see if it, if it does it it should do it and it's thinking, it's thinking. Hopefully, it does it. And it did it. I think it did it. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Let's go to our 3D view. And you can see that we have our raptors all set to go nicely. 
beautiful 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 what we could do now let's put in our ceiling joist so let's go to the attic framing plan and we're going to go with the structure we're going to click on beam and we're going to select two by tens Let's see if I could do this right. Uh, let's pick over here. Doesn't matter what we pick. That's fine right there. So we have our ceiling joist, and we're going to move this guy. We're going to have it touching. There you go. Move this guy right there. And I want to move. Boom. That's good. Let's see over here. Let's fix this. Boom. And now we could offset that ceiling joist 16 inches on center as well. So let's do that. So click here. We should have the 16 inches on center. We do. And it doesn't want to go the other way. Great. This is fantastic. All right. Let's not do that then for now. Let's just go. We're going to copy this. Copy. Copy. It should be able to offset it though. I don't know why it's misbehaving. And I, right now I messed up. But that's okay. We click on it. Move. Move it. Right there. Good. And it should offset. And I don't know why it's not want to offset into the direction that I wanted to go. Because right now, if I do this, it's going over there. But either way, I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to do it. Uh, let me just get this going because I'm taking too long. acting up come on yeah, I think I copied some of the some of the choice incorrectly this guy's bad badly placed so let's just move that there you go. Let's copy this last one over here. Yeah. It's not behaving. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But you guys get the point. Go to a 3D view. And it looks pretty bad. Uh, actually, it doesn't look that bad. Let's got to fix this right here. But it's easily fixed. Let's go back to the attic framing plan. I miss this guy right here. Let's click on that. Click copy. There you go. Go to the 3D view. And there we have it. Let's see. Click shift. So we have our rafters. 2x12 rafters, we have our ridge board, we have our 2x10 our ceiling joists. It will be supported somewhere around the mid span by some bearing walls, and it's going to be transferred all the way down to the girder that's on the first floor framing. Uh, if we go to the first floor plan, go to this section right here, see how that looks. I think there's some mistakes here, but I mean, I could fix them later on. But yeah, those are my rafters. These are my ceiling joists. That's where it's being cut. Let's go to where we, we were, the north elevation. And it's not that bad. It's you know, not, not perfect. 
should have brought this down a little bit more. Just a tad bit more. But it's okay. You guys get the idea. So that's how you guys do it. Thank you and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.